Hey everybody, the following is an excerpt from a Rotto Roundup, and if you'd like to see the rest of the Roundup video, you can hit that eye in the top right corner of the screen, or follow the link down in the show notes. And if you'd like to know more about the game, there's a link for that down in the show notes as well. Okay, so let's talk about Concordia Venus, another expansion. And the most exciting thing about Concordia Venus is that it allows for team play. I was really hoping to get a chance to try that, but at, at board game uh, uh, game board games con spring, it didn't work out. Uh, you know, because it would have been a big long game. While I'm excited about the team play, I am worried because of what I've read is it makes the game much longer, and I like Concordia's length as it is. But still, that's very very awesome. Being able to play uh, four or six player games, two or three teams, where on my turn when I play a card, I do what it is. And you, my teammate, do it as well. And so I have to be very conscious about what it is you need to do and not play cards that are at the perfect wrong time for you. We have to be in sync, you and I, to be able to do well. And I love that idea, but I haven't got a chance to play it. That said, there are other cool things in this expansion as well that I think are absolutely awesome. Uh, it comes with either two or three new maps, depending on whether you get just the expansion, in which case you get two new maps, or you get the standalone version, in which case you get three new maps. Um, if you get the expansion, don't worry, the Cyrus map that you're you're not getting um, will be made available at somewhere down the road. Uh, you know, be, be sold separately. But I mean, new maps. Uh, you know, some are tighter, some are wider. Uh, but you know, they're they're all very very nice. But none of them introduce like really new, fundamentally different things like you know the Egypt map with the flooding of the Nile or stuff like that. So, uh, but new maps are always nice. But the important thing is Venus herself. There is a new god that we can score uh, base our cards. The Venus card score by having um, two houses, two colonies in a given region. And that is huge. Because Jen and I, having only played this as a two-player game, maybe it's uh, Team Sweet, but we very rarely build into the same city. Once you make it to that city, I think uh, it'd be way too busy, expensive for me to build there. I'm going to go build somewhere else because there's always someplace else to build. Now, because, oh, you built in... I mean, if, if you built there. Now I can't get the Venus bonus of having two cities in that region unless I build where you build. Suddenly, building on top of other players becomes a much more prevalent thing, and it really changes the gameplay up. I love it. And these Venus cards have new functions on the other side. Multi-use cards, where you can choose to be um, you know, the prefect or the merchant. Uh, your choice when you play it, so you have a lot more flexibility. And, oh, is it the Magister card, which um, allows you to copy the last card you played. If you know Concordia, you know that is huge because the game is all about copying the last card your opponents played. Now you can copy your own card if you get a Magister, but um, you know they are tough to pull off timing wise. Really, really tough. Plus, the idea that was brought in in the Egypt expansion of different costs for buying new cards, you can change it as part of setup, that's there too. Really, really cool. My number 10, Concordia Venus. And maybe if I ever got a chance to play this team, it would be an even higher. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. It makes a huge difference, believe me. But with that out of the way, if you want some more, over on the left, there's a playlist for a bunch more Rotto Rapid Reviews. In the top right, the latest thing that's been added to the channel is right there. And in the bottom right, something that YouTube recommends. Okay, folks, thanks for watching.